I'm Wayne Blackburn. I live in Nelson in Lancashire. And I've lived where I am at the moment for just over a year. I, I suffer from a condition called spastic diplegia. It's a form of cerebral palsy. And it means that my mobility is severely impaired. I also have complex regional pain syndrome. And it means that I deal with chronic and excruciating pain every day of my life. I live in a small two-bedroom bungalow. It's not very big. It has a small second bedroom that's classed as a spare room. But it is very small. It's used to store mobility aids. And we also have a pull-out bed that my wife uses on occasions where I have a particularly bad night. The changes housing benefit are going to affect myself and my wife quite severely. I'm going to be taking around about £12 a week out of an already tight budget. We won't be able to pay bills and on top of other changes that are happening it's going to make life very difficult. £12 a week is half of our food budget for a week. It's it's the difference between being able to get out and not being stuck in. I I have to be able to tr go in a car everywhere and it's very difficult for me to use bus services. I've applied for the discretionary housing payments but the discretionary housing payments are only a temporary measure. They usually last for something around 13 weeks and then you have to reapply for them and many councils in the country will not be paying them multiple times. So for somebody in a situation like myself, you have a choice of either finding somewhere else to live, which is very difficult with the amount of properties that are out there, or you have to find the money to be able to pay the spare room subsidy, the bedroom tax, as it's known. I think disabled people feel that the changes are affecting them quite heavily. 15% of the cuts that have been introduced by this government are falling on the, the least well-off, on 2% of the least well-off in society. I think that's wrong. I think the government needs to look again at the changes that are happening. They speak a lot about fairness. But I wonder if they feel it's fair that disabled people who in situations like mine are much worse are having to struggle on a daily basis to try and get by and I think that a lot of disabled people are very scared I know I certainly am